Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, we're going to be talking about Absolute Superman number one. What just happened? Uh, this is going to be a spoiler-filled video. If you want a spoiler-free review, uh, go check that out. We have one of those on the channel. Uh, I won't show you every page of the comic, but I will go through some of the stuff and show you some of the highlights. Uh, I think that, you know, this book is incredible, and I really, really love it. It's got some great implications for the future of DC and the series in itself. Uh, and I think that Jason Aaron and Rafa Sandoval are just doing such a bang up job with this one. Uh, if you saw my comic book haul, you know that I picked up a few versions of this, uh, or like five different versions of this. Uh, so yeah, very excited to talk about this book. Uh, so let's get to it. Let's get into it. Uh, all right. Absolute Superman number one. Here we go. Um, so we begin with Krypton, long, long time ago in Krypton. Uh, and this Krypton is a little bit different from what you may think, you may know. Um, we meet uh, uh, Lara uh, Zorel, uh, Superman's mom, and and we see that this planet is a little bit different. Uh, we meet a lot of people that wear the crest of the S that Superman wears, and we are given to understand that there's kind of a caste system here, right? Krypton is divided by kind of like the upper class and the worker class. Uh, and that's what the crest kind of represents. So we know that in this world, uh, the S it stands for something a little bit different uh, than, you know, it doesn't, it's not the crest of the House of L like we, we've we known before. Um, we also see that both super, both of Superman's parents, Jor-El and, and um, Lara, I think, did I say Kara? Yeah, I meant to say Lara. Uh, they were both actually upper class, but through different things and through being outspoken through their beliefs, uh, they were actually kind of sent back down to the working class. We see that uh, Jor-El discovers that there's something wrong with the planet, as which is a very similar story to what we know. The book gets pretty gritty and gnarly at some points. You can see this dude kind of getting his face melted off. Uh, which is pretty rad. Uh, but yeah, the scientists don't believe them. Uh, we then take a hop into the present uh, where we see, we go to Brazil, uh, where some peacekeepers are helping, uh, I guess, helping keep peace uh, in this mining colony in Brazil. Uh, these people are digging for resources, coal, things that they're being taken away from them. Uh, but they find that somebody, when they go into the mine, they find that somebody has already dug out all of the, I believe it's coal or, or it, diamonds. Uh, yeah, they come out with all the diamonds that they needed from there. Uh, and we see that the previous night, uh, the being who we know as Superman actually was trying to help out these people, uh, you know, help them meet the quota, help them get everything done. But he's trying to keep everything on their wraps. Uh, now, of course, the peacemakers don't believe that the miners could have done all that work so fast. And that's when Kal-El kind of, and in, in, he intervenes. Uh, I love that Kal-El is being aided by some kind of, there's some kind of AI or maybe like the suits talking to him. There's something there. Uh, I don't really, I didn't really fully understand that. So if you read that and you you know exactly what's going on, let me know here because I think uh, Kal-El's powers work a little bit different here. Uh, we get this really cool page of, Kal-El stopping the peacemakers and helping the miners, um, you know, get out alive and, and free. Uh, and yeah, but we do have, uh, then he is ambushed by, by the Lazarus force or the Lazarus command. Uh, we get this really cool panel of Kal-El trying to escape from everything. Uh, and it sets up this conflict between, uh, Kal-El and, and this Lazarus Command and the, peacema the Peacemakers. Uh, and then, of course, at the end, we see that he is captured by Agent Lois Lane. Uh, so that's kind of like the last piece of the puzzle, right? Uh, so this was a very fun issue. Uh, I love that we see not only the origin of Krypton, uh, but we see how things are different for Superman, right? Uh, there's a few other things that are introduced. Uh, there's a little hint at a Brainiac-like character here. Uh, we get to see that there is a Kent farm, and, and we know that the Lazarus Corporation took them. So I imagine that maybe the Kents were still around 
and found Kalel as a baby, but we don't know that yet. That's not confirmed. Uh, but the Lazarus Corporation took everything from them, and now Kalel is kind of like this freedom fighter uh, trying to destroy the corporation. Uh, and then, of course, we get to see one last flashback to Krypton with Superman's parents as they find out that the planet is going to die. Uh, we do see that uh, Kalel is a little older than normal, right? He's not a baby. He's a he's a full grown boy. Uh, we do see uh, Crypto as well. Uh, so yeah, how is he gonna get out of the planet? What's gonna be the game there? Uh, and that's kind of where the book leaves us off. Very exciting stuff. Uh, I actually, I think I kind of enjoyed it a little bit more now that I kind of went through all the details of for the video. And that's one of the reasons I enjoy doing these videos because it gives me a little bit of a different perspective as I'm trying to explain it to an audience that um, I know a lot of people watch these and maybe you don't want to read the comic, but you kind of want to be in the know as to what's going on. Uh, so hopefully I'll keep making more of these. You let me know if you're enjoying these. Uh, so if you read this book, let me know what you thought about Absolute Superman number one. And as always, thank you for watching. Everyone remember to share, like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.